guys welcome back again uh, today uh, what I'm doing here is uh, last night we glued in three quarters of the hull uh, three quarters of the bulkhead three into the hull um, and today what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna lay out where the door goes um, with this bulkhead like it is obviously I have no access to the front of the boat which is up there so when I do cut the door out I'm gonna leave everything about an inch smaller than my overall size and there'll be a reason for that um the way i'm going to tie in the doors and all the weather stripping and all that the windows and all the doors i'm going to cut smaller and that'll leave i'll be able to leave a lip on there to accept like i said weather stripping doors windows all that stuff so uh, again as we get into a little bit further uh, i'll go through that a little bit more in detail so all right thanks for watching i'm going to throw you guys on time lapse because there's really not a lot to explain uh measurements levels squares Tonight we are going to cut the door in said bulkhead. Uh, the prints called for the bottom of the door to be two inches to the floor down here. Uh, I decided to raise that up an extra inch. It, I'm not stepping over three inches is not a big deal. Um, and also because we raised the roof, I was able to gain a little bit more headroom on the height. Uh, originally I was going to go six foot eight here. Uh, I decided to bring that down to six, seven. I should still clear that if I have, uh, even if I have a little bounce in my step, I should be fine. Um, it, it's, just, it's right on the, the limit there. Uh, yeah, so we're 20 inches wide, give or take. Um, I've made radiuses in the corners here. Those are about a six inch diameter. Uh, I tried a couple of different sizes here for this, uh, four, six, and eight. Eight seemed a little much, four seemed a little tight. So uh, we're going with the six inch. Um, just kind of going by looks. Uh, originally there was two windows in this section here. Uh, we're gonna do one eventually. For now, I'm just holding off. I wanna see where the settee ends up. Um, the settee will actually determine the lower sill of that window. All right, I'm gonna get into it, start cutting. gunnel here uh, that'll connect up to the front and wrap right around to the bow. Uh, the side here, this angle, will accommodate our windows. They lean in just slightly. Uh, obviously, our door. Better shot all this. Here we go. So door, and don't mind the ratchet strap going across. I uh, still have to secure that wall. And same thing on the other side. So we'll cut. Uh, I found the, uh, the buzzy tool, or the oscillating saw. Seems to really work well. Um, I see a lot of guys, like, they hold a vacuum with one hand and they use the tool with the other. 
I'm not that coordinated. Um, I'm sure with some practice it'll be, uh, it'll definitely be better, but for now, kind of works. Like I say, I, uh, I cut everything with the buzzy tool there. The dust pretty much falls straight down, and uh, I just hit it with the vacuum cleaner real quick when I'm done. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our door. That's our first uh, main hole in our bulkhead. Um, we did try to plan everything out where these big pieces I cut out, I'm going to be able to reuse those. Um, this door that I cut out, if we don't actually use it for a door, it'll be used for the countertop for the galley. Um, it's, it's actually two inches too wide, and it's probably also too long as well. So we'll be able to trim that down a little bit and use it for the galley countertop. Um, not sure if we will uh, do like a resin pour on it or if we're going to do like a, uh, a veneer, something to that effect on there. But uh that that's in the future either way uh again we're trying to get as little waste as possible out of everything um we did uh when we fiberglass everything we tried to lay everything out and figure out where we could use some of these pieces these larger pieces we're going to cut out so um yeah but all right well that's uh pretty much it for tonight i'm just going to give this quick vacuum pick up my mess and uh i think i'm going to call it so all right guys thanks for watching all right guys so today we are gonna start tabbing uh, i've been saying it for a while and uh yeah it's been a while we have uh, three of our bulkheads in none of them tabbed yet uh they are glued in place um so yeah what we're gonna do is uh i clean up the little bit of squeeze out that was there i hit it with a piece of sandpaper um i didn't fill it anything yet so the fillet should go right over the top of all of that um, we'll radius those corners to uh, an inch diameter, uh, 24 millimeters give or take. Uh, rubber spatula, just cut it down nice and easy. Cassie's gonna mix me up some thickened epoxy. Uh, we are using a medium density filler to do all of our fillets. The gap here, we're gonna leave for now. Um, towards the end of the day, we are gonna fill the gap, I'm gonna let it cure overnight, and then we'll fiberglass this tomorrow, this last uh, side here. So yeah, everything's kind of prepped, ready to go. I, I did all that off camera, because you, know, you guys have seen us prep for a glass before. Uh, just gonna give it a quick wipe down with acetone, and we're ready to go. Uh, anything else, Cassie? No. I think that's about it. So, we just finished tabbing in uh, bulkhead two here and bulkhead three here, all the way around. Uh, we did tarp off the top of this and tent it out and we put a, our little bullet heater in. It's a little dark in there, but uh, basically it's gonna get cold tonight. It's actually the high today is only, yeah, 45, 50, I think, something like that. Uh, so we got everything glassed. I'm gonna leave the heater on there for uh, at least a few hours here and it should, it's really just heating up this little area now. I'm just sticking my hand and I can feel the difference. It's gotta be 80 in there already. Uh, so we'll let that cure with the heat on for the night. And uh, again, I'll come out probably in a little while and just turn it down just a little bit. But yeah, uh, first two bulkheads, one side is done of both of them. And uh, yeah, it's a, a great start. We also filled our gap over here and I never did go over uh, 
kind of how we uh how i propped all this out so on the side here i i had mentioned in a few videos ago uh had this this whole wall actually bowed out like this um so i took a four by four post and uh the clamp was just there to hold it kind of in place for now um i wedged the bottom of the post and i actually pulled it out with this clamp the top of the wall so that straightened the wall out, and then in the, I pushed the whole thing back in with this piece here. Um, again, I didn't go too crazy with this. Uh, everybody I talked to said, you can put a little bit of pressure, but don't go too crazy, because uh, it's not that important, per se. It is important, but um, as far as, like, you don't want to overstress the joints on the bulkheads. So uh, we did fill it today uh fill that joint there uh, i put peel ply on the outside i'm gonna let that cure overnight and then uh tomorrow we'll hit that again with some uh some more uh we'll fill it everything hit it with glass on both sides and then that should be good to go um again it was kind of the best thing i could do just try to straighten that panel out and push it back into the boat so uh it seemed to work pretty well uh again you'll probably never see it when we're done with the boat itself as far as uh any waves or anything um there's plenty of fairing to do out here still all right well that's pretty much it for the day uh we're gonna let everything cure overnight i'll just keep an eye on the heater now and uh yeah we should be good to go for uh tomorrow we'll pull the peel ply off the sides and do the same thing we'll do the outside of this hull uh this bulkhead here uh and then i still have to do the berth area and bulkhead one um in the next few days i do want to start getting these intermediate bulkheads cut just so we can get some floors down because it really is a pain in the butt jumping around uh i mean we have a that's got to be about a two foot step up from the bottom of the hall to that door frame um it, if you kind of balance you can jump from the bridge deck over and back but still it's uh kind of a pain so i'll concentrate on one hall first get all the intermediates cut hopefully glued in place and then i'll probably just lay plywood on it for now just so we can walk around comfortably so all right guys well thanks for watching again uh be sure to like share and subscribe it doesn't cost a thing and uh we'll see you next week can i have a puff wow halfway and then that'll be my corner that'll be my first corner what's that it'll be your corner that'll be yeah that'll be the first corner the all scissors right? are loud just let you so. know so if you hang on one second, Cassie's going to take this. You good? Oh, Mr. Fancy Pants, I can hop off of a boat. Okay. If there was only water here, we'd be even better. Okay. All right.